<sighs> All right, so today uh, we're gonna be doing some more stuff with the go-kart, or well, not today, long time ago, but I finally got around to uh, putting together uh, some uh, another video. Uh, this one, it's uh, not a whole lot is happening in this because uh, I spent a lot of time really just kind of learning a new tool, which was the plasma cutter that I got. Um, and also there was a couple of things that I needed to cut and I did not immediately install them afterwards. So just for continuity's sake, I'm not including the install in this video because kind of the way that I made this go-kart was I just started making pieces that I knew would fit together sort of in a way. And then once I got enough pieces together that I could actually like put something together substantial, I started actually assembling the thing. Um, so what we're making today is uh, we're gonna be making some pedals out of uh, some uh, structural steel square tubing. Uh, and also we're gonna be working the engine plate. Uh, the engine plate, or well engine plate, the engine mounting plate is going to need to have uh, two slots cut in it, one for the sprocket and one for the brake rotor. Um, now, I went through a lot of math and things trying to figure out the sprocket. Um, I cut some of it out because uh, a lot of it was just crazy ramblings of me and wrong math uh, trying to figure things out. Uh, but I left a lot of it in just to try and show my thought process on designing this because I really just kind of flew by the seat of my pants with this whole project. So a lot of it's been just uh, design it as I go. Um, but as far as the uh, brake rotor, I actually didn't have any video for explaining that. So the second cut you'll see me do in the later, later in the video is for the brake rotor on it, um, allowing it to come up through that plate. Without further ado, I guess uh, let's get to it. Welcome back to another installment of Poor Financial Decisions made by me. I bought a uh, plasma cutter and I'm having some cord length issues right now. Why is the ground clamp not as long as the fucking torch? There we go. Good enough, I guess. In fact, I can put this over here. I want to cut on this end. All right, I've never used one of these, so I uh, really have no clue what I'm doing. But I want to cut a section out of this, kind of like a pedal. I think it's about the right width. Um, so, where are my welding gloves? All right. Don't even know how it works. I'm not all the way through it everywhere. That looks like shit. In the pictures, all the cuts were pretty. This is probably some operator error here. That's pretty well. Might turn it up a little bit. All right, let's, uh, let's do a take two here and try and cut this a little better. popped out at me. I think that's a little hot. Uh, 
That's a little better. It still looks like ass. I never used one of these, but I think I'm instantly in love with this thing. Even though it makes shit like this. I mean, this is this is all me. This is. I, I don't know what I'm doing, so I'm making shit like this. But I don't know. Neither of these are probably gonna be pedals. I I don't even know if I'll be able to use those. They look terrible, but this cut I just made pretty straight. So, or well, I, it looks straight from the side. Um, let me keep continuing on this one. Maybe I can tear it off now. Yep. My gloves are hot. Okay. If you're wondering why the torch is smoking, uh, I think some coolant got on it earlier when I spilled it all off the table. So I'm assuming that's what it is, but I don't know. It could be it's cheap and definitely very Chinese, so I don't know. But that actually looks sort of like a success. At least it doesn't, you know, it doesn't look completely god awful like the other ones. So I guess we'll keep cutting around with this. I like this thing, it's pretty cool. I feel like it needs more pressure. Let me go look at the pressure. Yeah, you're basically out. I actually need to cut the stuff I need, so I got the pedals. I'm trying to think of what else I need. This, I was thinking, might be able to use this, cut it in half, uh, then mount the, the flat cut on, um, on the actual chassis, and then use this for the front wheels for the, uh, um, the joint mounts. I'm not certain on that, though. Um, we should think about that. I might be able to come up with something better than this. Um, yeah, I've got a couple ideas, but I don't know. Yeah, I've obviously never used this before. It's kind of cool. I feel like if you had no air, you could TIG weld with this. I've never TIG welded before, but it looks like that's basically what it's doing. So, it's kind of kind of neat. I'll have to look into that. So, um, what else do I need? Right, right, all right. Uh, the next part's gonna be kind of a complicated, so I gotta set it up. Be back when it's set up. All right, so, a little bit of a problem. 
Um, what I was about to do was cut a hole for this to go through so that the engine could sit right here and then uh, interface with the axle like that. Um, which the center line, I guess this isn't really a problem. We have to cut a notch is how this is gonna have to work. Cause it's gonna have to sit right about here cause we've got our mounting holes for the pillow blocks. So the axle will be back here. So leaving about an inch on that side. I don't want to significantly weaken this plate. Um, what I may do afterwards is come in and try and weld some kind of U around this side just to re-strengthen it a little bit. Um, because as it stands right now, there's really just no way to do this simply. Um, we can't really move the engine up because I mean, I already got the holes drilled, but on top of that, the go-kart's already small as it is, and I don't really think I have any space left. Um, and I think I'm already going to have issues, actually, looking at this. Um, I have a feeling... So this is going to be about here. I have a feeling that... the gear on the engine, which is going to be about here, is going to run into the sprocket. The sprocket's going to be sitting here. And it's going to be um, a little shorter than this, so like maybe like here or something. Uh, I don't know. I do not know. The other thing here is so, we have to make a hub for this, and I wasn't exactly certain where I was going to bolt the hub onto yet. I think that these two uh, circular holes need to be involved in the process of bolting it on to keep whatever I'm doing centered on the center hole here. I'll have to take some good measurements to make sure that I actually get that centered, because this does need to be really centered on the axle. Um, these, I don't know, they might be involved in bolting it on, but this is getting more complicated than I thought it was going to be. Hmm. <sighs> okay, yes, I need to do some mock-up here. Go ahead and see what our clearances look like, because we might have to redesign part of this or all of it. be here. Yeah, I don't think we have the clearance. We need a smaller sprocket if we were going to do this that way. Um, we could put some spacers on the pillow blocks to lower the axle. I'd prefer not to do that, but we might have to in order to make this design work. Um, we can remove the spacers later when we get the... Um, if I get a smaller uh, sprocket. And then the front wheels, we'll have to make them adjustable somehow so that we can raise and lower them. Because so I don't really want this to be raked. Um, I'd like to have it pretty level. I was thinking about making the front adjustable on some of the stuff anyway. Like we're already going to have toe adjustable because the rack gives you, uh, you know, adjustability on the toe. Um, but the rest of the caster, camber, I don't know how much that will be adjustable, we'll figure it out. But right now, as it stands, um, I guess I need to get some measurements, so let me do that. Alright, so the pillow blocks will hold the axle one and a half inches center line beneath the plate. This is, we'll call it seven and a half, so 3.25, or no, 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 3.25. I don't know, 3 and 5 eighths will be the center. So 3 and 5 eighths, and we got 1 and a half beneath. So we'll call it 3 and a half to make this easy. 
it's two inches so it's gonna stick up two inches above the plate and it might be doable the uh, bottom of these teeth start at three and a half all right so that's not very straight okay so that's the center so we're going to want to cut around that and so the center line of the uh, the axle is here so if the axle is going to hold this one and a half inches underneath So then two inches, two inches actually right on the center line of this small hole. So then we get six and a half at the very least. All right, so three, so the center line here is about three. So if the center line is about three, that means that we're centered on three. We need about three and a half on each side. So we're only saving half an inch. Um, so we need six and a half. Uh, that's a lot. Um, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a little shy of six and a half, just so we can start doing some test fitting. So we can always cut more off, but welding shit to add back on is a huge bitch, so. Right up there. That's good. All right. I have a feeling none of this is going to fucking work. these black gloves I'm kind of sad that I broke that other one I guess I'll have to figure out leather working next all right so you see here my shoe burning no okay um, let's put a glove back on so I can maybe move this a little bit use that for something. Yeah, I've got a bunch of steel, like molten steel, in my fucking driveway here. All right, so we're back. Um, I had to charge the camera and uh, also do a lot of other stuff. It's actually the next day, but anyway, you can see this cut is going actually just as well as this one.
All right, so uh, I know n not a whole lot uh, exciting happened except, you know, setting my glove on fire. Uh, that was a fun time, uh, especially since uh, those were my nice gloves. But regardless, uh, next video, we uh, I actually don't even think we'll be putting it together quite then. I was just actually looking through the video I had uh, this time instead of making claims. In the last video, like I said, we'd be putting stuff together. Um, and I think that what we'll be doing next time is uh, working on making the hubs, or well, iterating on making hubs. I actually ended up having to go through a couple of different designs to figure out exactly what I wanted for the, the wheel hubs on the rear that hold the two uh, big trailer tires. Um, so uh, we'll be doing that and possibly a couple of other things. Um, but uh, that plate that we made uh, is going to be pretty much, I mean, that's what a lot of the really important stuff mounts to. So uh, I'm happy that, well, mostly happy the way that it turned out. You know, it it's functional, um, but uh, unfortunately we won't see that for uh, a little while longer until I get to the point where I'm actually putting all this together. Um, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.